Purpose well, I guess, I, I guess, well, 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 the purpose, I guess, you know, brothers is trying to come to an agreement in aspects of what, what went down in history. Uh, the big thing, you know, with, with the Moors, uh, you know, a lot of brothers in the uh, black, black conscious community, that, you know, you're dealing with the people who has been psychologically damaged for the past hundred or so years. And then, you know, the, the Moors community come and saying that black is negative, uh, you know, it's it sort of, you know, sort of hit a nerve. I, I, within the, I, can under, I understand both sides, but you have to look at the, the, the perspective. You have to look at it from different views, you know. <laughs> So, it, 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 yeah, you know, because in one sense you could say black is not even really a color, so if you want to get that deep, we can go there. But, I mean, it, the, people's perspectives are different. I mean, we could sit here all day and talk about history till we're blue in the face. What about now? You yeah. know what I'm saying? We have to deal with now. What happened back in those, the Moors days or whoever days, that happened during, how does that apply to us right now? How can we take whatever, um, tools they left behind, meaning the information or the science or whatever, and move forward. Not sit here and debate over what was this, who date got what. You know, that is irrelevant. How can we how can we build off of the, the stuff that they left that we're unearthing and coming up with? Now, how can we use this to move forward? Not sit here and debate about it. It, it, it doesn't make sense. Let's use this shit and make shit happen for ourselves. You know, I, I was telling this brother the other day, sister, um, we was we was talking about the debate and you know just the whole study of history and just you know how brothers in general, you know we always get in sisters we get into disagreements what happened during during the comedic time or during this time. And I was like, listen, you know, I was like, I got a, in an argument with a brother last month. Within that month, I done heard ten different versions of what went down in that argument. So I said, how the hell are we gonna? get some precise knowledge on some history that happened thousands and thousands of years ago. Nobody's going to be exactly right. You know, nobody was there to witness it in a sense. You know, maybe we were in another body or whatever, but whatever. We don't remember it. So how are we going to get something? Why are we arguing about something that we wasn't there to experience when, you know, I mean, brothers couldn't even get a story right that happened a month ago. So how are we going to get some shit mm-hmm. happening right that happened 10,000 years ago? You know, exactly. so in the sense, you write in the study history is very important, but you know, you got to worry about what's going on right this right second, right now, not what happened. I mean, yeah. we have to know certain things. Don't get me wrong, because I, I like to know my history, you know, for my own sanity. But to sit there and go on and on and on, and you, you you'll be stuck. You'll be yeah. stuck angry about stuff, and you and when you learn the other side of it. You can kind of deal with it and move through it and, and have that power and that ancestors that, you know, if you're going to argue over slavery and, and, and still be into that, use that energy. That was not in vain. Those ancestors, those energies are supposed to be moving through us now, not sitting here arguing over it and trying to, you know, I mean, come on. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Hey, well, like, I, you know, I, it happened, but hopefully we'll see what come out of it, you know. Well, I appreciate your phone call, sis, and, um, yeah. you know, just do what you can do on your end and do what I can do on my end. Yeah. And right? can you do me a favor because I'm not online, so can you keep me on the line so I can listen in? No problem, sister. Huh? Right. I said no problem. All, All right. right. Thank you. All right. All right we're going to go to our uh, next caller. Caller from a 423 area code. Let's see who's calling it. Yes, hello. Yo, this is Brother Tars. I'm just listening in. Hey, do you uh, have any comments, any questions, anything, brother? Uh, not at the moment, bro. Okay. Well, thanks for listening, brother. Yes, sir. All right. Get to the next call. A caller from uh, 914 area code. Let's see. Yes, hello. What's going on, Red? All right, what's happening, brother? Who's calling? This is Luck from the X, man. Okay, all right. Do you have a question, a comment, or anything, brother? Nah, basically what I just wanted to say was with everything going on with the debate, and I kind of wish Shalim was on, but, you know, you said due to certain circumstances, it couldn't be happening. But um, it's just the point, like I told Shalim, like at the end of the day, I don't mind the debates, and I told Sunday, and I even think I told you this, seeing you in Brooklyn personally, like I don't mind the debates, but nothing's coming out of it, Rich. 
You feel me? Like, dudes in the hood is still going through misery. People around the globe are still going through misery, and nothing's coming to a point where we're saying, all right, this is the initiative. My whole question is, when are these taunts and these games, and I mean as far as, like, people like Ali Muhammad and True Islam is like, all these different views are coming into play, and there's no solution. It's just talking, bickering, keep going on and on and on. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It's just to a point like enough is enough already. I sat back. I've come to numerous lectures at the at you know what I'm saying at the university, whatever LIU, and it's like nothing's changing. It's the same people there, and it's like no initiative is being put into the streets. Nobody's sitting there with the bloods to build. Nobody's sitting there with the crips. No one's sitting there with any form of group to say, yo, let's motivate. Well, well, you know, I, I do know a lot of things going behind the scenes that brothers and sisters aren't aware of. I do know, as far as the Bloods and the Crips, I know brothers like from the New Black Panther Party, brothers of that they have sat with certain, uh, you know, the Bloods and the Crips from out there in Jersey. So, you know, we can't be quick to judge and say this nah, brother ain't doing this, this brother like, ain't I'm doing saying that. this for a reason. Like, I wouldn't have picked up the phone and say what I'm saying to you if I'm not saying I respect anything you're saying. I know a lot goes on behind the scenes. But just as much as a lot goes behind the scenes, behind the scenes ain't nothing really being done because you're not seeing even a spectacle of something changing. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? If there was a short, if there was a small spec, I wouldn't even argue with you, Rich. But there mm-hmm. ain't nothing there. So mm-hmm. like at the end of the day, like real talk, if dudes like like Brother Phil said, yo, dudes don't want to put blood on the line for nothing. I want to put blood on this, Rich. For your <laughs> yeah, kids, for my kids, I want to put blood. And I want the people to hear what I'm saying. I'm willing to die for y'all. But y'all not willing to die for nothing. Y'all want to sit here and talk. What is it mm. going to take? It's going to take for some real big shit to happen for everyone to say, all right, now we need to sit here and move on? Like, what's going to take it for us to realize that something has to change? And it has to change soon before we fucked up in the game. Excuse my French. What's it going to take for everyone to say, you know what, enough is enough? You can't keep watching videos and going to lectures. Be something, some form of action has to be taken, man. And I'm keeping it 100 with you, Rich. I, I'm not even playing games with you. I'm keeping it straight thorough with you. Mm-hmm. So wh- what, do you, what do you think is some, like, immediate Dude, action? Real talk, Rich, I'm going to keep it 100. I'm not even going to try to wait your time because I know you got other callers. Dudes who really want to do something, and I'm talking, because I just came back from Cali, Rich, and the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying I didn't see some shit when I went to Cali. Some shit I couldn't even believe. You know what I'm saying? That be going on up in the mountains in Cali, man. And it's to the point, like, yo, y'all think shit is going on. There's some shit going on out there. That y'all, yo, you already know what it is, Rich. Yeah. And it's like, yo, I seen that shit. Like, that shit broke my heart, fam. I'm like, damn, certain people I look up to, these niggas, these niggas is against me. They want me to die. The same people I thought really had my, vest, my, my interest the best don't give a fuck about me. Doing shit behind the scenes that you, like most people couldn't even fathom to put their minds to. So it's just the point of which that, yo, I'm waiting, baby. I'm willing. I'm willing to do whatever. I then came to every meeting. I buy the DVDs. I sit here and build with y'all. But it's to the point at the end of the day, when I come back to the hood, niggas don't have nothing. They don't know what to do because they stuck in the mind state of the everyday person. And if you try to show them the knowledge, they can't take it in because it's something new to them. It's just too much separation. So it's like you playing the devil's game. We all separated, but we want to sit here and say, let's stand for something. That's my whole thing. Like, everybody want to sit here and say we together, but at the end of the day, we not. Because when anyone goes home, their own initiatives go into play. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very interesting, brother. And I appreciate your passion and your sincerity and what you're saying and the views you're expressing, brother. And um, I appreciate your call. You already know, Rich Norman's here in the streets, baby. All right, stay strong, brother. Definitely, brother. Peace. All right, going to get to the next caller. Uh, let's see, caller from uh, 315, area code. Yes, hello. Peace, brother Rich. My name is 